So in this video, we're going to be learning about loops. So loop is just a way to make something run multiple times within your program. Because if we're using an if statement or whatever, we want to print, say we want to print f, let's say hello world, and say I want to print this multiple times. At the moment, I have to copy and paste this multiple times for each time I want it to run. So that's what I have a loop for. So in C, there's two types of loops. Well, there's three types of loops. There's a for loop there's, uh, that looks like this. There's a while loop that looks like this. And there's a do while loop that looks like this. Do this while. So these are the loops in C. These are all the loops there are. C is a really small language and it only has two loops. It's basically like two and a half loops because a do while loop and a while loop are almost the same thing. So we're going to learn about the for loop first. So in a for loop, we use the for keyword to create the loop. We put uh, parentheses here, just as we did with the if statement. And we put a block below it. And we, in this block is what we put the code we want to run multiple times. In the parentheses, we put, uh, first we put our iterator. So we say int i equals zero. This is our iterator. An iterator is just a number that increments each time the loop runs. And that's how we exit the loop. We have our iterator. Then we have our conditions. So we'll say... Uh, i is less than 10 and then we have our incrementer which is just i plus plus so i plus plus just means i plus one so instead of writing i equals i plus one or i plus equals one we can write i plus plus these three things are exactly equivalent to each other they're exactly the same thing they're just different ways of writing it so what we're doing is we're creating a variable called i we're setting it equal to zero then we're comparing i with is we're comparing i with 10. So we're saying is i less than 10. The answer is true, so we're going to run this block. But before we run uh, this block, we're going to increment i by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print f hello world. Oops, hello world. And what this is going to do is it's going to run the loop 10 times because each time it runs the loop, it's going to increment i by one until i is less than 10. So let's run this. So it's a gcc learn.c minus o learn. Okay, uh, that was just my text editor did that. So we just need to get rid of this uh, comma. Run this and run that. You can see we get world, hello world printed out 10 times. So this loop will run until the condition is false. If I want the loop to run once, I can put a break statement here. It seems kind of pointless. Why would you create a loop if you're going to exit it after the first execution? But you can do that. Uh, you can run this and you see we get hello world echoed out once. We can also have an infinite loop which is a loop that runs forever and the way we do that is we just put uh, a colon, a semicolon here and a semicolon here. So what we're basically saying here is we're not creating an incrementer, we're not creating uh, a condition to test and we're not creating uh, a variable that's going to be incremented. So basically we're just leaving this as if it's blank except we're just leaving all the conditions in it blank which means this is never going to have a false condition which means it'll run forever providing we get rid of this break statement. So this will run forever. Uh, let's just run this now. And I can exit it with the control C on the keyboard and this will exit the execution. You can see now the uh, program executed loads of times. I'm scrolling up here and you can see it doesn't look like it but it's scrolling up massively. We could also uh, have a variable say int i equals zero we can declare it out here and then in here we can just print hello world space and we can increment we can print out the uh, number the loop is on so we can print oops d for decimal and then put an i here and increment the i each time we run the loop and we will get the number of times the loop is run beside uh, the string so let's run this you can see it's just run 545,000 times in the time that it took me to press control C. When you want to loop until a condition is false is when you would use a while loop. So if we use a while loop like this, technically a for loop could be used for both, um, but a while loop is sometimes more appropriate. So while loop just a while loop just has a condition, so let's just put a condition in here and let's just print f hello world. So let's just say 10 is less than so uh, one. This is never going to run because 10 is uh, is not less than 1 so we're just going to get no output to the screen. So you can see we've got no output. If I, swap, if I swap this sign around you 
can see we get an infinite loop because so if I want this loop to run until the condition is false, I just say i is say doesn't equal ten. And what I'll say is i plus plus each time and then up here I'll say um i equals whoops int i equals ten. Actually no, I want to start in zero. And then what it'll do is this will run 10 times. So this is basically the exact same way as uh, my for loop would run. It runs 10 times. But as you saw earlier, if my condition is never true, my while loop will never run. This is where a do while loop comes in. So if I have a do while loop here, and I'll say um, 10 equals 11, printf, Hello world again. What will happen here is even though the condition is never true, this while loop will run once because the do while loop will always run once. No matter whether the condition is true or false, it will run one. It will run first, and then it will check the condition. So if we run this, you can see we get it echoed out once. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.